good having all of you join us today. My name is Chris. I'm the lead pastor here at TCC. And I just hope that you had just such an amazing Christmas and just enjoying this entire holiday season. Well, we all know that the new year is just a few days away. And well, we just didn't want to rush into 2021 without pausing and reflecting. There's just something powerful about all of us just spending time to reflect, especially on a year like we've had. So I just hope that wherever you're connecting from and wherever you're traveling to, that this time, this space will just be an encouragement to you, that this time will, will just fill a part of your soul. So as we worship together and we grow together, I just want you to know I'm so thankful that you are with us today. God of the promise, God of the future, you see beginning and end. God of the rescue, God of the breakthrough, how great is your faithfulness. You're not done yet. Let's sing this out. No eye is ever seen, no ear is ever heard, no one could ever comprehend. Your word would be enough, your promise we will trust, and greater things are still ahead. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. God, in my seeking, God, in my dreaming, you put a song in my soul. God, in the working, God, I'm believing, you do the impossible. You're not done yet. No eye has ever seen, no ear has ever heard, no one could ever comprehend. Your word will be enough, your promise we will trust, and greater things are still ahead. You're not done yet, we believe you're not done yet. Whoa. You're up to something right now You're doing a new thing right now God, let your glory come down Don't hold back, don't hold back You're up to something right now You're doing a new thing right now God, let your glory ever seen, no ear has ever heard, no one could ever comprehend. Your word will be enough, your promise we will trust, and greater things are still ahead. You're not done yet, we believe you're not done yet. Whoa, you're not done yet. Are just a few days away from well, a new year. And you think about it, I mean, there's something within all of us that want to go rushing into 2021. There's something within all of us that we just want to say, let's just let a new year start because, well, it can't get worse than 2020. Well, can it? But before we go rushing into a new year, 
we wanted just to pause and to reflect. And this is so, this is so important. This is important for me. This is so important for you. Let, let's not miss what actually has taken place over the course of this past year. You see, in our desire for a new year, in our desire for a new day, in our desire for something better than what we have experienced, we can miss something sizable that will help, will continue to shape and mold us into who God has designed us to be. And so what we wanted to do is just to, well, stop, not pause, Pause is way too short of a period of time. I want you to stop. Before we get to 2021, actually stop and, and reflect. And this is such an important part of, well, as we approach the new year. I'm going to share with you a couple very specific areas that I want you to stop and reflect in here in a few moments. But before we get there, I want to share with you one of my well, most favorite verses. I mean, it's right in that, well, top, at least top five verses in all the Bible. You can read it in Romans chapter eight. And the Apostle Paul is writing this letter to a church, a gathering of people located in the great city of Rome. And Paul starts off on this thought and he simply writes, he goes, and we know. And you can tell just the confidence in Paul's words. You can tell the, the security and the, well, the feeling. He's like, hey, hey, we know this isn't, this isn't something that we're wavering on. It's not something that we're kind of questioning and, well, hoping with a question mark that will be true. He goes, no, no, no. We know. You can be confident in what we know. You can hold on. There's strength to what we know. There is security in what we know. And so with all confidence and courage and strength and optimism, he's like, hey, and we know that all things, all things, that all things, and you see, and we got to pause because 2020 has been filled with all things. We got to stop and realize that 2020 has been filled with all things. And I don't know for you, but I know for me personally, there's been more bad things than good things in 2020. Like the emotional and mental and spiritual side of. Well, this journey throughout this entire year, I mean, you think about the all things, if you start to put them into two categories, the good all things and the bad all things, well, for me at least, there's been a lot more bad all things, and not just in quantity. I mean, the severity of the bad things, the intensity of the bad things, the gravity of the bad things, the weightiness of the bad things, you far outweigh anything on the good thing side, doesn't it? And Paul is just clearly saying, hey, hey, we know that in all things, whatever category you want to put in the all things, no matter the good side or the bad side you want to slide them to, no matter how you want to uh, gain perspective around the all things, Paul is just using very simplistic language to paint such a powerful picture. He says, hey, that in all things, God works for good. And I know maybe you're sitting there like, yeah, Chris, but really all things, no, there's a reason why Paul said, hey, we know, confident no, security in knowing that God, the God of the universe, works in all things for good. No matter the type of all things, no matter the category of all things, no matter the severity of the all things, no matter the weightiness of the all things, no matter the gravity of the all things, no, no, no. All things mean all things, and God works for good. For good. And you see, this is why this is so important. Especially as we move into a new year, we must stop and reflect on the all things from this year. We must stop and gain perspective around the all things for this year. We, we must learn from the all things of this year. And Paul's like, hey, God can take all things and work for good for those who, and then he uses two very important kind of 
the scriptures for those who love him. For those who put God first in their lives. For those who are pursuing passionately their relationship with God the Father. For those who love him. In fact, we're kicking off a new series. January 3rd weekend called Jumpstart. And well, a small part of that entire series was focused on how we love God. We have to join us for that series to learn more about that. He says, for those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. God's purpose. And God's purpose is his desires for all people to have a relationship with him. That's why he sent Jesus to walk on this earth, to die for you, die for me. So that all people who trust, believe in Jesus to have an eternal relationship with God the Father. That God works together all things for the good, for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. But here's the thing about the all things, especially when the all things are really bad things. And this is an encouragement not just for you, this is an encouragement for me. You see, we have to stop looking at the bad things as bad things. And that's what we want to do. Again, we have two, two categories, two columns. We have the good things column and the bad thing column. And when you think about 2020, you, there's, again, a lot of things in the bad thing column. And we, we got to stop looking at, at the bad things as bad things. I mean, that's really what Paul was getting at. He goes, hey, stop looking at bad things as bad things. In fact, we need to start looking at the bad things as well, an opportunity uh, for God to do good things. I mean, that's the power of what Paul is saying. Hey, in every bad thing, guess what? It's an opportunity for God to do good. In every bad thing in your column, no matter the gravity, no matter the weightiness, no matter the severity, no matter what the bad thing is. In fact, it's such an amazing opportunity for God to do good. For God to do good. And that's why we must stop and reflect. We must stop and reflect on everything that has happened. Let's not miss what God wants to teach us through such a difficult year. Let's not stop and miss how God wants to shape us in such a difficult year. Let's not stop and miss how God wants to mold us through a very difficult year. Let's not stop and miss the good that God has done even in the midst of the bad. So I divided, or developed a very simple tool simply titled a reflect guide. And uh, we actually want to send that to all of you. It's one page, um, really simple, but it's a tool to help guide you to reflect over this year year and uh, we'll send it to you if you just text the word reflect to the number that you see the, the number 833-709-0962 again just text the, uh, the word reflect we will send you that guide and what we what I want to do is just help you kind of we'll journey through on how to mine up through all the bad the good that God has done so when you get that guide, the first step is, well, I just want you to grab a few resources. You know, grab your favorite writing utensil. If you have that pen, that pencil, maybe you have an iPad, so you grab your Apple pencil, grab a pad of paper, an iPad, your favorite journal, maybe it's a legal pad, whatever you like to write with, and then go find a space. A, a space where you cannot be distracted, a, a space where you're not going to be rushed, a space where you know, you're not going to think about all your other to-do lists. Like literally find a space and schedule a time where you're going to reflect on 2020. And once you kind of sit down in that space with whatever you're going to write on and write with, what I want you to do is capture everything that went bad this year. I mean, go for it. Go for it. Write it down. 
Maybe it's relational bad. Maybe it's financial bad. Maybe it's job security bad. I mean, who knows what the bad is? You do. But start writing through all the bad, all the stuff that you faced this year, all the stuff that was overwhelming, all the stuff that weighted you down. And don't worry, don't worry. You're not going to just stop there with that list. But there's something really healthy about you just realizing what you faced this last year, it's been significant. What you faced this year, it's been, well, it's, it's a lot. And once you capture that list, I want you to literally out loud recite Romans 8.28. Then we know that God works in all things for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Say it out loud. Say it with confidence. Say it with, well, with hope, knowing that God is working in all things, in all things, even in your bad things. And then once you say that out loud, because there's something about saying those words out loud and believing them, holding on to them, trusting those words, then I want you to focus on reflecting, to reflect. Because you're going to have a list of those bad things. And there's just some, well, some key questions that I think will help you reflect on, well, the good that God actually has done, even in the midst of the bad. How has God sustained you? How has God provided for you? How has God surprised you? How has God encouraged you? How has God strengthened you? How has God shaped you? How has God comforted you? How has God led you? And how has God guided you? And how has God, and maybe you just fill in that blank. And start to reflect of the good that God has done even in the midst of some of the bad. Don't just rush into 2021. Stop and reflect. And when you do, you're going to know the God, the God of the universe, the God, your heavenly Father, works through all things for good, for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. My prayer is that you will start looking at the bad things as opportunities for God to do good. Mine for the good that God has done in you and through you, even in a difficult year. Let me pray for you. Lord, In the midst of the bad, you have done so much good. And Lord, I just pray that we all will hold on to that good. Lord, we'll all look at the good that you have done, that that God, even in the difficult, the bad things, that God will just see the good that you have done and that you are doing. That Lord, I pray that even as we reflect on this past year, that we will hold on to all that you have done and that will be encouragement that thou breathe life into us as we move on into a new year. In your name I pray. Amen. You are here. You're moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're working in this place I worship you I worship you You are here You're moving in our midst I worship you I worship you You are here You're working in this place I worship you I worship you You are We make a miracle work Promise keep Light in the darkness My God That is who you are You are We make a miracle work Promise keeper, 
Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, you're touching every heart. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, you're healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're mending every heart. I worship you. I worship you. Stop working, you never stop, you never stop working, even when I don't see it, you work, even when I don't feel it, you work, you never stop, you never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working, even when I don't see it, you work, even when I don't feel it, you work, you never stop, you never stop working, you never stop. Stop working Even when I don't see it You're working Even when I don't feel it You're working You never stop You never stop working You never stop You are way maker, Miracle worker Promise keeper Light in the darkness My God That is who you are You are way spending time with us. I hope it was an encouragement and breathed life into you. And well, if you have not received the Reflect Guide yet, I want to challenge you. Get the Reflect Guide, and we've made it super simple. Again, all you have to do is text the word REFLECT to 833-709-0962. We'll send it right to you. And carve out time, intentional time for you to stop and reflect. Reflect 
on all the good that God has done through the course of this past year. Well, on January 3rd, we're going to be kicking off a brand new series to, we'll usher in the new year. It's called Jumpstart. And I just want to encourage all of you to make sure that you're part of part one. Now, all of our physical campuses are going to be joining us on our online campus. So, hey, all of us, wherever you are, we're going to be together online as we will jumpstart into the new year. And that series really is focused on you, of what you need to do to have the best year ever. Well, I just want to wish you a happy New Year's and here's to a great 2021. God bless.